Hey everybody, this is Colin from ECS Tuning, and today I'm going to show you how to install APR's brand new supercharger pulley upgrade kit for the 3.0 TFSI engines. Included in this kit, you're going to get a new supercharger pulley, a new serpentine belt, a pulley removal tool with collars to match up with your new pulley and your stock pulley, and two new bolts for your radiator support. The tools needed for this installation are two half inch breaker bars, a 3 8 inch socket wrench, a long extension, a 16 millimeter box wrench, a 19, 16 and a 10 millimeter socket, a T30 and T25 Torx driver, liquid molly lubricant which is included in the kit, an air hose gun, a flathead screwdriver, a 17 millimeter socket, thick heat resistant leather gloves, a toaster oven or any other oven available. To start the installation, we're going to remove the 11 quarter turn bolts on the belly pan. Next, remove the six T30 bolts underneath the radiator. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove the front wheels. Now we need to remove the two T25 screws that hold in the fender liner. Behind here, there's a 10 millimeter bolt that holds the bumper that we need to get to. Now remove this 10 millimeter bolt. Repeat the same steps for the driver's side also. The pulley on your stock supercharger is pressed onto the input shaft. To remove it, we're going to use the supply tool from APR. Now to get your new pulley onto the car, we're going to heat it up in a toaster oven for one hour at 350 degrees. After that, we should be able to slide it on by hand and let it cool. Next, we're going to remove the two T30 bolts that hold the radiator support to the fenders and also the T30 bolts that hold the shrouding on top of the radiator. Remove the two T25 bolts that hold the top of the bumper in place. Now we're about to remove the bumper. If your car has fog lights, remember the connectors are still connected. Start from the corner and pull out slowly on both sides. And lift up in the middle. Next, let's remove this air shrouding around this radiator. To remove it, just slide it to the right and pull it off. There are three 16 millimeter bolts holding on your radiator support on both sides. We're going to remove the bottom outer one first. And now we're going to replace it with one of the bolts APR has provided. This longer bolt is going to act as a hanger when we slide the radiator support off. Remove the connectors for both headlights. Now take your flathead screwdriver and pull up on the wire clip for the hose for the overflow tank. Grab the front of the radiator support and wiggle it until you feel it pop off its hinge. This will free up about three to four inches between the radiator support and the pulley so we can get the new one on. 
Next, take a 16 millimeter box wrench and attach it to the serpentine belt tensioner. Pull it clockwise to release the tension. Take your flathead screwdriver and pry off the plastic cap on your stock supercharger pulley. Apply some of the liquid molly provided in the kit around the pulley to help with the removal. Now in your kit, APR has provided two different collars. One is larger than the other and that is for your stock supercharger pulley. The smaller one is in case you ever need to remove the one provided from APR. Once you have the collar on, go ahead and put the retaining ring around it. Next we're going to bolt on this block to the collar we just put on the supercharger pulley. Insert the main pin with plenty of liquid molly to help with the threading. Attach a 19 millimeter socket to a breaker bar to the main pin. Attach your second breaker bar to the square block. Once your pulley is fully heated, it's time to install it on the supercharger. Hold it in place for a few seconds with your hand and have an air hose ready. And go ahead and start cooling it off. Now once your pulley is completely cooled off, you can go ahead and reinstall your new belt and all the rest of the parts you took off. Now this car usually runs at 11 PSI stock up to 5500 RPMs and then tapers back down to 7 PSI at redline. The stage 1 kit will get you up to 12 PSI to redline and an additional 30 horsepower. The stage 2 for this car is going to get you up to 14 PSI and give you an additional 43 horsepower. For the money, this is an easy installation and a good way to make some quick power. I'm Colin from ECS Tuning and I'll see you next time.